for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Pisces, in the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Now with this card, when it comes to love, it could have indicated that your relationship was about to come, it was about to become a whole lot more committed. Up to and including a potential marriage. So if you were looking for love at that time, it shows that special events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, they were a great place to meet someone special. Also, if you got invited to something like that and you were single at the time, you probably did or you should have made it a point to go. And we have the Four of Wands paired with the Three of Swords. So when it comes to love, and this card shows up in, in a reading, just keep in mind, just because the picture looks frightening, you must know that it's not the end, it's not the death of a relationship, but it does almost always point to relationship difficulties and pain. So in order for the relationship you are in to survive, both of you would have needed to be willing to work on it and talk about it. Any problems, you would have needed to do that. So you could have found that someone you thought cared about you was not as loving as you had supposed. So you needed not to take it too personally or you didn't take it too personally. And also, you would have needed not to dwell too long on the pain, if that was the case. Uh, the reason for that is because you were being guided to a relationship that was better for you, that was right for you. Okay, and it was important not to force something to be right. And that's in the past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Ace of Swords. Now this can mean that you are ready to start something new. And if you're already in a committed relationship, it indicates that there's something about the relationship that you will definitely choose to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind if something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you say so, you really hadn't lost anything. You're definitely being led toward a relationship that is better for you. So speak the truth and speak what's on your mind. And we have the Ace of Swords pairs. It's paired with the Two of Cups. Now, this is about true love, balanced partnerships, commitment, and all the things that most people hope for in regards to love and relationships. However, this doesn't mean that you can just say or do whatever and that your relationship will last. It only means that the real, it only means that the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. So if you're looking for love, this is a signal that it is very likely to be headed your way soon. So relax. Now with these two cards paired together, the Ace of Swords, is letting you know that there could be um, 
Now could be the time that you're ready to start something new. If you're in a relationship that's not working out, um, you're probably more than likely being guided towards a relationship that's better for you because it's paired with the Two of Cups and it could be leading you to the love that's perfect for you because this is the card that everyone wants when it comes to uh, love and healthy relationships. So it looks like you're being guided to a healthier, more loving, more fulfilling relationship with the Two of Cups. And that's only if you're in a relationship that's not working out from for you. And that will be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Two of Swords. So, with the Two of Swords, um, it's a good card romantically, especially for a romance that's already in existence. Now, this card, it can signify that your relationship will move into a lighter, easier, more balanced phase. You two should be treating each other as equals at this time. You'll find that really easy to do. And if you are looking for love, if you are, Take a good hard look at yourself to see if you to see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with before you get into another relationship. Uh, you want to do this because most people they can smell desperation a mile away, and it's a major turnoff usually. Now a life partner does not complete you. A life partner does not complete you. A life partner is like icing on the cake of your own complete life. So don't look outside yourself to find happiness. Once you do this, the relationship that you truly want and need will come. And we have the Two of Swords paired with the Ten of Cups. Now, if you're worrying about a romantic relationship and you get this card in a reading, it's definitely a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Okay? So you can, well, you and your lover or your loved one, you're on the same page at this time. And if you're in a relationship but have not made it formal yet, you haven't made a formal commitment yet, and you hope that it comes to pass, whoa, just take heart because it's coming. Don't sabotage things by causing problems where there aren't any. And that will be the challenge. Now with these two cards paired together, the Two of Swords, it signifies that your relationship could be moving into a lighter, easier, more balanced phase. Okay? And if you're worrying about uh, the relationship for some reasons, it's a clear indicator with the Ten of Cups that you're worrying for nothing at all. Because like, this, because like the picture is showing, you can, you can simply tell that it's one of the best cards in the tarot. Your lover and you, you're both on the same page. So there's no need to worry about anything. All right, and then that's going to be your challenge. And then we move on to the outcome, the chariot. Now, with the chariot, it's possible that you're tempted to go too far, too fast and or that someone is pressuring you that way. Either way, communication is the best thing to do and make sure you set your boundaries and preferences 
and be honest with yourself about the possibilities. So if, you, if you're not interested in a relationship with someone who clearly wants one with you, then the kindest thing you can possibly do is to let them know that you're just not interested. Okay? Now this uh, communication will benefit the both of you in the long run. And then we have the chariot card paired with the strength. It's the strength card. Now with the strength card, love should be going very well. And if you're committed, it's more than likely to be a strong commitment, a strong relationship. And it's mutually supportive and beneficial. So if you're looking for love or you're looking for romance, this is a much better than average time to meet someone. Now, you should also be, or you will be feeling more self-confidence about yourself. So get out and mix and mingle. You might be very pleasantly surprised about how things work out. And with these two cards paired together, the chariot card is letting you know that you might be too you might be tempted to go too fast or to go too far too fast. So you might want to take the relationship a little bit slower if you're just meeting someone. Because with the chariot card being paired with the strength card. Um, if you're looking for someone, now is a better time than average. So your chances are really great to meet someone, but make sure you don't jump into things or rush the relationship uh, before, you, before you get to know them. And that's going to be the outcome. Outcome.